Alright, welcome to another fabulous edition of Cote's Cube, hosted by myself, Justin Cote. I actually let the guests talk. It's kind of a unique angle on the Cote's Cube. Chris is out of town, so I've hijacked it. And uh, today we've got Reef McIntosh. Welcome, Reef. How you doing? Fantastic. Good to be here. Alright, uh, Reef and I just had lunch in his candy apple red convertible Audi. We might have looked a little gay driving around, but we had a good time and it was a great lunch. And um, yeah, it's good to see you, man. It was delicious. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, Reef was part of this uh, legendary, now legendary swell that hit Cloud Break a few weeks ago. And um, we've got a him on here to talk about that and a few other things coming up. So, you know, getting right into it, tell me about like how that swell, not the how swell formulated, but how'd you hear about it? Like, who someone call you up and be like, hey, we got to get down there? No, actually, it was my third time to Fiji this year, not to be spoiled, but I definitely am always keeping an eye on that wave. And last time we were there, it was pretty big, but it was super windy, so it just it was a lot more work than this trip just now. It was just so glassy and just groovy. I was with Dan Gadowski, so that's where that groovy came from. It was Dan getting classic. <laughs> oh, he was getting ultra classic. All right, so let's go rip into it. Um... Who got the biggest barrel? Cole Christensen. Worst wipeout? Mike Peach. Mike Peach, who's that? Um, he was a guy who got that nuts cover of that outer reef on Oahu like two winters ago. That Russo shot. Oh, right, right, right. That guy. Is he the guy who like took off like parallel stance or something? And, and then kind of went over like that? Yeah. Yeah, he like stood, I don't know. I didn't see it. I was getting hammered, but... <laughs> I saw the photos. I'm like, oh, that was a bad one. What about uh, Wassel had a two-wave hold down, I think he was telling you about? Yeah, Wassel, actually, I was involved in that, too. There was, like, me, Garrett, and Wassel were the only three guys left. GMAC was out the back. I was in the middle, and Wassel's over here. I made it under the first one, and that one took Wassel back. He was down. Next one, me and Garrett both bailed, and, the, and Wassel was still under on the second one, too. So it was pretty violent. Wipeouts out there. If it was anyone else, you'd be like, oh, shit, we have to go rescue that guy. But Wassel's probably, like, looking for fish. and Most qualified. He's probably relaxed. Yeah, he's probably looking for an alua or some lobsters. Just chilling. He had that little floaty vest on, too, so I'm sure that helps. Oh, smart guy, that Wassel. Uh, who was the MVP the whole swell? MVP the whole swell? Shit. Oops. I don't know. There's so many. I don't know who to nominate. I, I've heard Bruce Irons. I've heard uh, someone. Bruce, but Bruce was definitely in a standout, but the swell was pretty long in those first couple days when it was like four to six to eight. There was none of those guys were there. Right. I was there. I was there for the whole swell, so I don't know who you want to nominate. I'd say you're the MVP then. <laughs> All right. Um, one thing I did notice about that swell is uh, you had those San Diego, those new Quicksilver trunks, the San Diego Charger ones, and. Uh, I was wondering, like, when you're wearing those, does it make you charge harder as opposed to, like, if you had the Raider ones, it would just make you suck? It definitely makes me charge harder. And I don't know. I didn't even see the Raiders in Fiji. So um, there's, I know there's a lot of big Fijians down there. I mean, they could be football players. So I definitely felt like I was a wide receiver out there and Rivers was throwing bombs to me all day long. <laughs> so I, had my, I actually had my home colors on. I should have had the away colors, but I just like the home colors. Oh, kind of cloud breaks. Kind of is your home away from home. Um, moving on. So uh, Quicksilver Pro New York. Was was that your idea? No, nothing to do with it. No? No. Oh, you're kind of big time at Quicksilver. What happened? Oh, sh they got some smart people over there. Okay. They came up with it. It's a good um, deal. The, I think the big question everyone has about that event is, will there be surf? What are your thoughts on this? I think there will be waves. People have no idea how like decent it is out there or even like really good. You know, they had Sean Collins did the research, and I think they're going to have really fun. I think people are going to be like, wow, it's kind of legit out here. It's yeah. just as good as Huntington. So. Not better. Um, as far as uh, the wild card, Balaram Stack, you've you know hazed him a plenty on the North Shore. I'm sure. Like, how, how do you think he'll fare against the world's best? He could fail. I mean, he could fare really good. Just I 
just hope he's not nervous. Yeah. Nerves, he might get, I don't know, he's from the big, it's the big apple, he's he's big time, I mean, he might just rise above it all and start crushing dreams. Nice, I would like to see that, actually. Um, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but, um, you know, summer's kind of winding down. When does the uh, that Quicksilver house at Pipeline open up that you're kind of like the the house hen of... That opens up November 1st for all the regular people. It opens a little bit earlier just for me, so I get a little peace and quiet. No one in there, just kind of ah, just right. get ready. And you had uh, San Diego Charger All-Pro Center Nick Hardwick there, what, a season, a year or two ago? We wanted him there. Yeah, those guys are pretty busy. I was trying to get him there. He says he wants to come, so... You know, the invite's still there. He could bring the whole team. I don't care. Anyone. All right, Hardwick. The invitation is out there. <laughs> Get out to the North Shore. See you serve Pipeline. Bring the big boys. And um, final question, Reef. Can Nick get us tickets to a game this year? Oh, easily. I can call him right now. I can text him right now, and he say, yeah. All right. So. We're calling you up, Nick. All right. Thanks a lot, Reef. <laughs> yeah, phone's ringing. Answer. Thanks, Reef. Good to see you. No worries. And I'll see you soon. Take care.